What is up, everybody? I hope everybody is staying safe. And if you're protesting out there, I hope that you're doing it peacefully and you are staying hydrated as well as safe, of course. And if you're one of the looters, destroying businesses, fuck off. That's all I'm going to say about that. A few things I want to talk about. First, I'll start off by saying I apologize I haven't been streaming video games as of lately. I have not been motivated to do so right now. I will eventually. I have just been frustrated and, and just angry with how the things are right now because this is not... I live in Dallas. This shit's affecting me too. Uh, it's very hard to get motivated when... And I shouldn't be like this, but sometimes I am. That I like to... I have to force myself to be motivated. Right now, I don't want to do that right now. I just want to let the storm fly, pass over, as it were, and let me get my feelings out there on certain world events, certain nation events, and what have you, and I'm going to do so. But eventually, I'll go back to my normal routine and body dotty do you know? The thing is, is that I'm a, I was an eight-year military veteran. I was a Green Beret for the last six years of that, my military career I had. What I see in this nation is very painful to look at. I hate racism. I hate it with a passion. I hate violence. Believe it or not, I really do. But I do believe in standing up for myself. And I will throw this this last portion of this conversation that you just heard me say, it'll be with my Antifa little gripe I have and I'll do, be doing that in a moment but I again I hate violence but I will stand up for myself and my family and my property remember that the state of what we live in right now like I said with protesting is fine but when the moment that you again I've mentioned this in other videos the moment that you start looting stores causing mayhem anarchy and chaos you are trash you are a criminal and if you're out there doing that you're a fucking idiot you're stupid simple as that and before y'all go in my comments and say oh you this is the, we're trying to make a statement what the fuck statement are you are you trying to say except you're only giving the stereotypes more ammunition against you it don't matter if you're white black brown polka dot people are gonna still think of you some kind of way a protest means you go and you protest and you stand your ground you don't go out there and start looting stores, busting, like in Dallas, there's a, they've hit so much, there's a Rolex store off of Victory Avenue, downtown, pretty close to the damn, uh, if you've seen that building of Dallas, the big one with the, the green lights and everything, there's a Rolex store down there. There's a, uh, there's a lot of, downtown's a pretty expensive area, West End area, busting in shit. What are you trying to prove by stealing somebody's shit? Then you go on Instagram like a fucking asshole and you're posting all what you got. You're not out there to protest. What you're doing is fucking greedy and selfish and you're a criminal. You're a fucking cunt. You're not doing anything but being part of the problem and not the solution. And before you go, well, you need to go out there and do anything. I don't need to do a motherfucking thing. First off, I'm 38 years old. I've been down that road. I know what this country is like. I've seen it first fucking hand. I fought for my country for this bullshit, so I don't need to go. I've seen protests. I have seen personal anguish. I have seen it. I was a POW for a week. I know what, I don't have to do that. I know what it's all about. So would y'all come at me with those comments? You can fuck off with that first off. And I'm sorry if some of y'all don't like this message, but I'm gonna speak my motherfucking mind. Jason is speaking his mind right now. So before y'all come at me with stupid comments, let my last little, my little message I just said sink in. I know what it's like. My wife is black, my daughter is mixed. I know what it's like. Before y'all come at me with hate comments on there, y'all can stop right there at the fucking door. Because I don't care if you don't like it or you, if you like it, good for you. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. We, I have been called things. I've been threatened with my life. My daughter has had threats towards her. So if you don't think I know it, and that's not just one occasion, many. I ain't scared of you or anybody in this world. 
again, if y'all don't like my message, I apologize, but I know, again, it's not game related, but you know what? Sometimes I got to, I got to extend my, or I got to, um, extend my channel a little bit to, to express how I, Jason feels. Jason's going to say what he wants to say because I get to listen to everybody else's bullshit drama. Listen to mine for once. Mine's not drama. Mine's real life. So I'm going to speak freely. Again, if you don't like it, turn on, don't watch the video. Go back to my other shit. Do what you got to do, but I'm going to express myself. Thank you very much. Anyway, moving on. I've had white people be racist towards me. When this first happened to me ever in my life, I was shocked. I was like, how can a white person do that to another white person? It don't matter what color and creed you are. It's not about racism. Racism is hate's best fucking friend. Y'all should know this. And I'm, world peace is a far cry. Let's just face that. Nobody's ever going to see die. Nobody, especially in this country, nobody's going to see die. Nobody's going to be holding hands singing kumbaya. But we got to get rid of some of the minor problems. And that is different ways on hiring police officers. There's more to it than that. But shit, I'm not an HR. I'm not... And I'm not, they're, they're, I don't know how they go by and do that, but something's got to give, man. Something had to give 40, 50 years ago. This is unbelievable. I've been persecuted for my family, and I don't care. I, my wife is a blessing, and she's the most beautiful woman in the world to me. My daughter is a blessing. She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. She's an, she's an angel to me. My wife's an angel. She's God sent. So it really fucking, it angers me when people make shit. And that's just the world we live in. Unfortunately, that's just the world we live in. And I'll move on from that. This video is, I started out with a certain message, but now it's just venting at this point, I believe. So I apologize for that. I'm kind of uncoordinated a little bit, but I really don't care. Let's talk about Antifa. Or no, 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 no. Let's talk about this. When you destroy national monuments... You're not proven. The only message that you're sending out is that you're a fucking cunt. Let me explain what I mean by that. You're a criminal. You're stupid. You're just a fucking... Most of you out there doing this are just fucking tired ass millennials. I'm going to be... I'll say most... I'll say things on my channel that most people don't... Are too scared to say because they're scared a little bitty monetization is going to be taken away. I don't say I don't give a shit if my monetization is getting taken away. I don't care. I don't, they take my money away from me, my friends. So I don't really care. I'm not monetizing this video. This one, I'm not doing it. But y'all out there so scared to talk and have an opinion because your little bitty monetization goes away. Fuck your, you're, you're greedy. You're no better than the criminals. Get your message out there if you want to talk about this shit. Don't monetize your video. In fact, I have another video like this, my last one. I'm going to unmonetize it, actually, because now I'm still I'm pissed off at myself because I monetized it. <sighs> but here, when you, when you again, when you, vi when you destroy national monuments and try to burn churches, you're a piece of shit. You are. There's no, that is the only message that you're sending out to the public is that you're a criminal and you're an anarchist. That's all that you're showing. You ain't showing the government. Now, they don't fucking care. The taxpayers do. The people that, the veterans fucking care about that stuff. Well, at least some of us do. You don't understand how much sentiment, sentimental value that shit has to some people. But since your little millennial ass wants to go there and destroy it, then you just don't care. Because you know how many people that are in that around the country that are doing this shit, you, they, when they're asked, do you know who George Floyd is? They go, who? We're just here to burn stuff. You know how many times I've heard that? So excuse me if I'm a little pissed off of dumbass fucking kids going out there doing dumbass shit. I have a problem with that. A big problem with that. You're not, I mean, you, again, do I no need to explain that again, do I? I just gave you the, I gave you the answer to the own question. I'll move on from that because I'll be on that for another hour. Talk about Antifa. 
some of you got tomatoes when I last video some of you guys got that all mixed up about what Antifa is let me elaborate a little bit better because some of y'all think cops are out to get y'all motherfuckers and I don't believe that there's a reason people do shit Antifa I don't want to make this abundantly clear because some of y'all don't understand what the hell they are Antifa is a group left-wing radical group that like to strategize. Look up George Soros, since y'all like to come in my comments and talk about that motherfucker. There you go, Wikipedia, what the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Ant Antifa, I can't fucking talk, Antifa is. They're not a friendly, pe they're not, a, they, they want anarchy. They want another civil war is what their goal is. But, you know, these kids out there doing this, they're, they're, they're paying people to, Excuse me to cause mayhem and chaos when you go up to a teenage kid that's throwing bread throwing something out a window and they say they, they confront you and they say we're gonna give you x amount of dollars you do it do something cause and you're not you have a chance a big chance of not getting busted you think that person is gonna and when he's in the heat of that moment he or she's in the heat of that moment is gonna say no i'm not gonna turn down free money to throw a couple throw some bricks at the window of course not because they have no morals you're there for the wrong reason because if you're there for the right re reason, you would sit there and be protesting and not worry about what everybody else is fucking doing, not going along with the fucking popular crowd. See, everything's a trend nowadays, and some of y'all need to wake up to that. <coughs> Antifa, I made a comment on my post because I found out some stuff about how Antifa and some of their little fucking flunkies want to go to small neighbor. I'll repeat to y'all exactly what I posted on Facebook. <laughs> Excuse me. They made a comment about going to small cities, going to rural neighbor, rural neighborhoods, and causing hell and mayhem, and destroying family, just neighborhoods. Let me explain to you who Jason is. First off, this. Then I'm going to explain. Me, I'm a person that will defend my family violently. Keep in mind, violently. With no, with no, with, don't even care for his life. Will defend my family and my property violently. Let that word sink in violently, if necessary. So I may have posted on there. I didn't get any hate for what I said, but you know, I said Antifa, and I explained to them to y'all to on Facebook exactly, almost verbatim what I said, y'all. If you come in. To my neighborhood and start any kind of riots you if my life my family and my property is in turmoil jeopardy I will not hesitate to cut somebody's life from this earth I stand by that wholehearted my life my family is my life so to have these little fucking cunts come out there, little teenage little fucking twats come out there and want to fucking step toe to toe to me on my best day, y'all give you my motherfucking address. I am mad and pissed off right now. As much as probably just like y'all guys, hopefully y'all are upset about what's going on. If some of y'all don't care, then hey, that's great. Whatever. I, nobody's expecting y'all to get involved. But... When somebody makes those kind of medial threats, I don't care if it was directed before y'all start saying anything. I don't care if it was directed to, or, to me or not. These people don't play. Because I also stated in my thing, I said, I will not call the police. I have a shovel, plenty of land, and a mass amount of motherfucking time. My family, keep that in mind. My family is my life. I will defend my life. I have a shovel, plenty of land, and a mass amount of motherfucking time. Think about that. Shouldn't be too hard. If this sounds like a threat, it is. This is all to the le radical left wing. Antifa. I don't even care if you're left wing or fucking not. I don't care where you come from from your political background. All I see is you as a threat. You, as Trump said, and I will say this, I agree with him on this. I don't agree with him on some things. As 
Nobody's a perf nobody's perfect. But they are a terrorist fucking group. And if y'all don't agree with me, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't want to hear in the comments about how y'all don't think it is. Y'all want to come up with justifications. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't care because I'm all about what they do, not where they come from. These people ain't playing. I'll repeat this again. My family is my life. I have, I'm an eight year military veteran. I'm not scared of nobody. I'll add that in there once again. I had a shovel, plenty of land, and a mass amount of time. So if you want to come to my neck of the woods, you better think that motherfucking shit through. Plus I'm a Texan. Let that sink in. The rumors are true. We own a lot of guns. And I'm sorry if this message is not calling what y'all want to hear. I'm an angry person right now. I feel like I need to vent. I need to get some things off my chest. I, I, fuck, I, I freaking hate things that are going on in the country, in the world. I, I, I have to vent it. That's just me. I have to express how I feel about certain things. <coughs> and I will do that. And if this doesn't, y'all don't like my message, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. I don't really care. This is my channel. I will say what I feel like I need to say and have a good day. I, I, this is me. I believe, I, I, I just, I, I would like peace as the world wants, the country, but not everybody wants that. And as long as we have radical groups as Antifa, we won't have peace. We're gonna have chaos. We're gonna have a bunch of bad shit happen on a, a, a lot because anytime there's a chance, they're opportunists. They seek an opportunity to cause more hell. This technically, you know, I think I might have mentioned in my last video, this would have been a peaceful protest if they didn't fucking go there and start playing their little shenanigans. <coughs> I'm a strategist. I, I see how they work. You randomly show have piles of bricks at government buildings that were not there you know, two and a half hours before the protest began, and they magically show up in the midst of all the, all the, the, the crowd and the noise and everything, let that sink in too. If y'all don't believe me, look them up, because that's what they fucking do. Antifa, you're a fucking cunt. Be careful who y'all threat. Really be careful who y'all threaten, because you might come face to, pay, face to face with some of those folks. This is my message. This is how I feel. Peace out.